So, hematomas age from the periphery to the center. So, there will be instances that the periphery of the hematoma is rapidly aging. So, for example, let's hear the hyperacute uh, stage. Okay. So, in the hyperacute stage, you have an iso-intense signal in T1 and then hyper-intense signal in T2. There are well, there might be a T2 hypo-intense rim, and this could, be, this could be explained by the rapid deoxygenation. Um, rapid deoxygenation or early deoxygenation of the periphery. In the... How about in the acute stage? In the acute stage, you can also have a hyper-intense T1 rim from early methemoglobin conversion. How about in the late subacute? So in the late subacute, you can also have a T2 hypo-intense rim due to ferritin and hemosiderin. So that's the molecular basis of intracranial hemorrhage, uh, evolution of intracranial hemorrhage. For the time frames, I leave it up to you to Memorize this one, time frame. And if all else fails, you can always revert to some mnemonic for the T1 and T2 signal. And this is what I use. I bleed, I die, bleed, die, bleed, bleed, and die, die. Where I is ISO, bleed is B for bright, and D is, uh, die is for dark so thank you for your time if this help this was helpful please leave a like and consider subscribing